All right, guys, so I'm gonna take you through a five minute total body warm up. The first thing that we're gonna do is gonna be walking lunges with a rotation. One of the things that you wanna do when you're warming up your body is mobilizing your joints and getting your blood pressure elevated, warming up those muscles, etc. This one's one of my favorites because it's a multi joint warm up and you're killing like five birds with one stone. So I'm getting my legs warmed up, getting some of that whew, rotation here, working on balance. Make sure that you do those nice and slow and you're not just like flying through them like a psycho. All right, and I recommend doing about 10 to 12 of these per leg. Next up, get your resistance band. You don't want to get one that's too heavy. This one says it's about 20, oh, it's 10 pounds. This is a good one. You're going to grab this and put it directly over your head. Stretch it out. Now you got some resistance. And then slowly take it backwards. These are called shoulder dislocates. You want to take your time with these. Don't fly through these. If you feel your uh, shoulders popping, that's okay. If you notice any pain, slow down. One of the things that I also want to show you that I love doing, especially if you're going to train back that day, take this resistance band. And this is how you get your lats warmed up for a lat pull down. Main thing that I want you to do is keep your arms straight. Imagine you have an orange in your armpits and that you're coming down to squeeze the orange. What that squeezing of the orange under your armpits is going to do is activate your back muscle or your lats so that you're not just swinging the rope down. The purpose of this is for your back. So straight arms, act like you're trying to make your palms push backwards. Taking your palms coming down and pushing backwards and squeezing that orange underneath your armpits. If you aren't able to do that, you can also wake your back muscles up by doing a more traditional row. If there's a lot of room or a lot of slack or this isn't strong enough for you, go ahead and wrap your hand in there once or twice. Get into a squat position, brace your core, roll your shoulders back and underhand pull the resistance band in. Notice how I start with my palms facing down, and then as I bring it back, I rotate them in. And again, I'm squeezing my back, my shoulder muscles together and down. When you squeeze your shoulder muscles together and down, it's another way to activate your lat muscles. Okay. So for these rows, whether you do these rows or these, do about 10 to 12 and repeat twice. I made this one up. I didn't make it up, but I made up the name. I'm going to call them walking pelicans. This is going to be for your hamstrings. If you can't do that yet, it's okay to start right here. Start where you can, because over time, they'll get a little bit higher. Again, about 10 to 12 of these per leg. All right glutes which on my program you're probably going to always be doing glutes i want to teach you to activate your glute muscles right so when your feet are like this i want you to push down into the floor and spread them this is going to activate your glute medius otherwise you're just pushing your butt back like this so into the ground and pretend that there's a piece of paper on your feet that i've ripped up a little bit and i want you to rip it apart okay that's how you activate the side of your glute muscles these are called good mornings. I want you to do about 10 to 12 good mornings. Do not fly through these. Make sure that you're bracing your core and pushing down through your heels and spreading the floor. You don't need any weight for these and you will hate everything about your life if you're doing it correctly. Okay? Next up, after you've done 10 to 12 of those, put it into a squat. Okay? So, good morning to squat. 
Good morning. So you saw me push my legs out to the side and squat. Good morning to squat. Good morning mm, to squat. Okay. All right. This is what I usually do before I do some squats. Get these, ham not hamstrings, get my quads awake, right? Get some arm circles in here. Let's multitask. Anywhere from 12 to 15 of these per leg. And then last but not least, let's get some torso rotation. Get some windmills. Okay. Spend about five to 10 minutes doing these exercises and you'll be all warmed up for your total body workout. Let's get it.